What's up? My name is Yindra Zayas. If you guys don't know, I am an actress here in LA. I just, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to like reach out into more of the acting content that you guys want to see. And I thought it would be really cool for me to react to scenes that I've been in and the characters I've portrayed and the backstories and even add some like BTS and stuff like that because I think as an actress that's always interesting. As an inspi as an aspiring actress when I first moved out here, I, I would always remember like going on YouTube and like typing in like BTS of acting and all this extra jazz. So I think it'd be really interesting to bring you guys along board and you guys really seem to love like my Grey's Anatomy vlog. If you guys have not already seen that, it'll be like linked right down in the description but basically did behind the scenes of what it was like um uh, being on Grey's Anatomy so and that's also one of the videos that I'm going to react to um but yeah I'm not like, really excited about this because like some of this stuff I haven't seen in a long time and it's it took me a while to like dig some of this stuff up um and yeah so do you guys like the red do you guys love it I didn't dye my hair this is weave boo because ain't nobody got time to be bleaching moved out here when I was 19 years old to pursue acting and I have been so blessed to be able to book um the jobs that I have been and you know not every remember I am showing my highlight reels I do not show every audition that I didn't book I do not show um all the times where my agents or manager had to call me and tell me no I didn't book the job I am posting my highlights so do not feel discouraged when you see things like this because that is a whole part of the acting journey you're gonna receive more no's than you are yeses and I'm just highlighting my yeses and reacting to the scenes that I have been in so in no way should perform am I ever encouraging you guys to be like look at me look like you know all this all these bookings trust me there was a hundred no's that went along with every yes to each booking and I really want to put that out there because I feel like a lot of times we um, as actors or just in any kind of entertainment business we um, or just people in general that we just naturally compare ourselves and don't do that don't do that because everybody's journey is different okay everybody's journey is completely different so okay so with this first one we are gonna do my very first thing that I booked when I got to LA this was the very first thing I was 19 at the time and I remember doing Girl Meets World and being so like oh my gosh this is amazing this is like a crazy experience right here's the crazy part about it all I was the oldest person in that classroom everybody in that classroom was like 13 14 years old like legit they're actually age and I was the only girl that was 19 playing 13 in that in the, in the show so I just thought it was really funny because everybody would always act like oh like, what did you do over the weekend and I'd be like I can't tell you that that's that's personal information I'm grown so like meanwhile everybody's like you know I have school and but I'd be in my trailer watching how to get away with murder or you know scandal or something so I just thought that was funny but yeah so we're gonna get right into this and I'm so excited because I was like a baby when I when I seen this how you react to what they say is what makes you the person you are. So don't react. That's right. Just keep on smiling. Would you please? <laughs> Lesson over. And nothing anybody else says is ever going to make me feel any different. Hey, Maya, Lucas, congratulations on winning favorite couple. <laughs> I feel different. <laughs> How is that possible? How could anybody ever see me and Lucas as a couple? <laughs> Everybody does. But we're so much alike. And they're so different. But we're like a summer rain. And they're like fire. <laughs> Okay, off the bat, really quick, I was so nervous to do this. I don't know, because it's like, well, I, I do know why. This is my very first time, like, actually being like, okay, oh shit, like, it's happening. Cameras, action. I got this, like, I have, like, literally three lines in the episode, but I was so freaking nervous. But keep in mind, this is my first time, like, really, like, going on TV and, like, having all these multi-cameras. Um, and it was just a really great experience overall. It was really, really dope. Um, but I just... This is so funny because low key, if y'all really want to be real for all my Grown Twirl, you know, fans out there, I low key started all the drama. Like, if y'all really want to be real, like, I started all the drama between Miley, uh, Miley, I started all the drama between Riley and um and Maya. So I thought that was really really funny because your girl was the one who <laughs> brought the tea. <laughs> I was being low, yeah. But anyway, that was, um, but yeah, that is crazy. I remember everybody in the cast was super cool to work with. System where the women, what? Buy shoes while the men learn the science. Shoes. Let's go. The system works. <laughs> no. I hated the way I said shoes. Let's go. Why did I say it like that? Like, I, I could have been like, shoes. I was gonna be like, shoes. Let's go. You know, that's the vibe I wanted to go for looking back, but I want shoes. <gasps> Let's go. Why? Why was I doing that? That was 
Oh, that was that was so cringe. Yeah, if you guys ever want to go back, I, I believe that, yes, it is still on Disney Plus. You guys can go watch it. So there's that. So the next one we're going to get into is Girls Room. So if you guys don't know about Girls Room, Girls Room um, was a social media TV show that I booked. I was really excited because it was my first time being first on the call sheet. And I just remember like being like, oh, Yendra, you booked it. And then seeing like, oh, I'm, I'm number one. I, I auditioned, I really auditioned for another girl on the show, but then they called me back and then gave me the lead. And I was really excited about it. And I was really hoping this, this was going to get picked up and go to like, I don't know, free form or something like that, but it was okay. It's fine, because at the end of the day, I still got booked, and it was cool, because I was booked and busy, and that check cleared. Um, but this was called Girls Room, and you can watch it on ATTN if you go, and then go to IGTV, and then, I mean, this was like a full-on production. I got to work with Lena Waithe, which um, was really awesome, because, you know, she's a really big, you know, name right now in Hollywood, and it was just really interesting seeing how she worked. And then also, I got to work with the fabulous director, Tiffany Johnson. She was amazing. I love working with directors, um, especially women directors. So I love to see it. So shout out to Tiffany. Um, she was a really cool person. And working on Girls Room, I mean, the hair and makeup team was amazing. I still keep in contact with the hair and makeup team to this because originally Melba was supposed to have really big boobs. Now, if you know me, I'm a size 30 AA, literally. Like, that's literally my size, a 30 AA. So my titties are like mosquito bites. But you, you know what? It's okay, boo, because at the end of the day, boo, who, who you know? Well, you know, but anyway, no, for real, for real, and all jokes aside, like, I was super like, how are they going to make this work? What are they going to do? What is the plan? So, I have my navigation applied, and I'm using my cool girl concealer. I love this shot. I was so in love with this shot. This was like the cutest. I, I love this shot. I just I don't even mean it like that. Mm. Uh-uh, not now. This is so awkward. I'm not gonna even lie. This whole scene uh, is pretty I awkward. You weren't gonna post anything for 30 days. Well, that's what I told him. So why did he do it? It's not that big a deal. How many likes y'all get? 108. That's all? How come none of y'all liked my post from this morning? I wanna check the shade room. My weave is sticking out a little bit. <sighs> like, you know, there's just sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Typically, like, there's just always, you know something when you find something wrong? Like, not everybody else is going to see it. It's like a picture. You know, someone else's, like, to you, another picture would be like, oh, it's like someone would be like, no, I don't like the picture myself. But to you, be like, what's wrong with it? It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Blah, blah. But you know, deep down, you know. So, in my mind, that little one piece of hair that's sticking out, that one weave that's just... It's pissing me off, and I couldn't do anything about it because they already put it out. What am I supposed to do? Is it what I'm supposed to do? Hit up the editors and be like, "Hey, make sure you do that." Who, 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 what? I'm, I'm not that known to be doing all that. Okay, so I'm a little jealous of my friend here. Um, I thought this was an interesting scene because I'm basically trying to be like the other girl. And it, uh, for those who don't know, girls room is basically about empowering women. Okay, and so there's gonna be like two more. And so we're gonna do my, me and my friend Kylie. And- yeah. Copying on my posts. What? It's very single black female. Ain't nobody copying you. I think I know where you are, but I don't wanna get into it. No, get into it. You're mad about Mia Lamont and you're being passive aggressive about it. Lies. If you say so. But copying me isn't gonna bring him back. I don't want him back. Then do you, boo. And I hope you didn't spend hours examining the pictures you took trying to pick the perfect one like I do. You make a much better version of yourself than a generic version of me. Ain't nothing about me generic. I know. That's what I love about you. We're gonna go to this classroom scene that I did. I thought that this classroom scene was pretty nerve wracking because I had to like fake faint. Um, and I even, they even got like a stunt double for me to fake faint. It was, it was pretty insane. I was a little like, okay, but you know, let's, let's look at it.
basically in the scene I'm trying not to eat because I'm trying to like lick snatch all the time and my friends are worried about me. Melba, come to the front and give your presentation. Can I go last? No, you cannot. It's not funny that she's about to faint. It's just like, I felt like I could have done it more. I could have given, I could have given more like, and just fainted. I thought I was gonna Family reunion, and family reunion was crazy because I remember specifically watch, like if you guys don't know family reunion, family reunion's on Netflix. I remember specifically going to this audition, not giving a damn, like I, Watching the audition, like I like obviously I treat every audition seriously. You know, I, I you know like my lines and everything. But I just walked in like I'm just gonna do this audition and you know, because there's some auditions that I'm obsessed with and there's some where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do the audition. Sometimes because I'd be like, what the hell? Like I walked in there and I was like, you know, I did it, I walked out and I was like, cool, you know, time to go get some Chipotle, you know, shrug shoulders, and literally that night pinned. Literally, then the next day my agents called and said, Hey, guess what? You booked the role, you know, they want you on set. What? What? So I was freaking out because of course Tia Mari is in this. Tia Mari, if you don't know who that is, Sister Sister, The Game, um, Twitches. There's just so many things. They're just iconic and I really do love Tia and Tamari. They are, Sister Sister was such a big deal in, in my household growing up and I, I, like it was just, they're iconic. And so it was, I already had met Tamara because my sister, my little sister was on the reel. So like not only did I get to meet Tamara and now I get to meet Tia. So I've met both sisters in person and they like, it was just, amazing everybody was super sweet on set and i got to work with the amazing acting coach kelly park kelly park is super amazing she not actually she's a director now she's directing boo she's directing all these new tv shows and she's directing like multicam i think she's doing first cam that's like technical director stuff but anyway she is now a director so because yeah, this is my first time in a while that i got back onto a multicam show because girl meets world was a multicam and for those who don't know what multicam is multicam is basically a three camera setup um and so it was just really interesting to be back on set and to see like it's like multiple cameras because they shoot really fast so sitcoms really um usually shoot really fast and um they usually do like three days of rehearsal and then two days of shooting versus like a movie or like a, a more in-depth tv show where it's like really like cinematic this is more like sitcom style so um it brought me back to my girl meets world days and i got to work with kelly park and then i got to also work with um the director who was awesome rob um robbie um, so it was really cool. So let's just react to the scene that I was in. Um, for those who haven't seen it, it's called A Family Reunion Christmas. It's on Netflix. Um, obviously, can't really leave a link down below, but you can check it out because it is still out on Netflix. And yeah, we're gonna watch it. It was basically the kids were um, being taught, basically in the scene, the kids are being taught a lesson and I was this homeless girl who was digging through their trash. <laughs> Sorry, is this your turf? Tonight it is. Oh, no, no, you can, you can keep those. You sure? This is at least $3 worth of bottles. Yeah. You two must be new to the streets. How can you tell? Because your head's not covered. I auditioned with these locks um, and they let me keep them and I did them myself. So technically, I mean, am I really my own hair and makeup? You lose most of your body heat from your head. So if you don't have a hat, keep a blanket over it. Give me a shoe. This will keep your feet warm. Okay, so that was that. I, that was really fun. I remember getting to, before obviously COVID hit, we got to do live shows. So I remember being really nervous that I got was like in a live studio audience. Of course we did that with Girl Meets World too because it was multi-cam set up. Um, I, I, just, I just didn't do it in a while. So like doing the live show was completely fun. But I remember being really excited and they were like, Yendra Zayas. And I was like, yes, that's me boo. They called him my name. And I got to work with Jackie. 
Oh my gosh, it was just like, it was so cool to work with so, so many like iconic actors that that you just grow, like, like in the black community, we truly grew up watching these characters and it was just, it was really exciting. It was, it was really fun. I, I was, it was definitely a full circle moment and I actually have a vlog from Family Reunion that I had never posted. So if you guys really do want to see that, link it, um, link it, comment down below and I will, you know, gather all the scraps and videos and stuff that I have of that and post it. I just think it was just unnecessary because it was like two years ago. So I don't think anybody would really care to watch it. But if you guys actually do want to, comment down below. So now we are going to go into Sharp Objects. So the thing with Sharp Objects, I was really excited for this because originally I auditioned with like multiple lines. And then they were like, okay, we're going to cut one line. So then I had one line. And I was like, okay, you know, cool, whatever, you know, chilling. Then literally they booked me. I got, you know, my agents called, hey, you got the job, da da da, da. cool. Then they said we completely cut out all your lines, but we still want you in, in it as like a main, like, you know, person. So not only did my lines get cut, my video got cut as well, like a lot of my coverage. So, and, and that completely happens all the time. So like sometimes you will do a whole entire scene and it just doesn't make the cut. And then it's just, you're, you're either, and it just sucks because sometimes that's the one scene that you're in or that's the one line you have and they cut it. And it has, sometimes it has nothing to do with you. Sometimes it has to do with the other actors. Sometimes it has to do with continuity. Sometimes it has to do with, there's just a billion things that it has to, like it has to do with. Sometimes that is, it's not really on you. So don't take it to the heart too much. I was really a little bit sad about it because of course Amy Adams was like the face of this project. I really more like saw her at the rap party, which was super fun by the way. Um, um, yeah, the rap party was really cool and you know, everybody was surrounding Amy Adams because she was like Amy Adams and she was walking around and you know being Amy Adams. So this was cool I'm just gonna do like the one little bit of piece that I am in um, But that's pretty much it, but it was really cool working with Sophia. Sophia is an amazing talented actress I mean this girl is She's awesome. And then like seeing her being in it, that was really awesome. And she's just been doing her thing. And she's like, she's so, so sweet. So shout out to her. Do you remember this cheerleading? Casting associates, casting, producers, and then to me. So at the end of the day, they still wanted me. So you know that's a that's a that's a within itself. So the last things I'm gonna do are Grey's Anatomy and Stage 19, and we are gonna jump right into it. So I was actually really excited for this because when they told me that I was opening up for for Grey's and Station, when they told me I was opening up the scene for Grey's Anatomy, boo, who you know? Who you know opening up the scene for Grey's Anatomy? Cause I'll wait. Like, let's just get into it. When a virus finds its way into our bodies, our immune system unleashes an attack. It puts up a good fight and then stands down. Or at least that's what it's supposed to do. Period. That was me. Okay, so now we're going to fast forward just a little bit. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Hush, sweetie. You are brave. You are a hero. Rescue someone, did you? Herself and her friend. From a fire? That's incredible. By starting a fire, some animal kidnapped them and locked them up in his house. It was the only way they could get out. Oh my god, that's... Oh my god. Jada Williams, smoke inhalation, second degree burns to the left hand. Jada, are you okay? Where's your mother? They took her. <laughs> they arrested her. Wait, why would they? Montgomery from 19... So... I don't know. I mean, I was in Grey's Anatomy, okay? I can, I, was, I can say that I was in one of the most iconic shows of all time. 
I was in one of the most popular shows of all time. This show has got 17 seasons, okay? Who you know besides Spongebob? Because clearly Spongebob is Spongebob. Or The Simpsons. But I'm just saying, like, I thought it was really cool. Um, I personally don't watch the show. So a lot of the times people were like, because my trailer was like next to like uh, Meredith Grey's. But like, I was like, it was like two trailers over. I don't watch the show, but people were ups like My friends were like, girl, what? Go in there, get a picture. Da -da 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 -da. First of all, I'm not doing all that because I want to get kicked off set. And second of all, I just, I don't know, I didn't watch the show. So it, it, it's kind of relieving to other actors too. Like when you're not so fangirling and you're just treating them like, people you know what i mean and this is gonna sound bougie but not being bougie but once you've seen enough celebrities you know and actors and you've just been around that like after a while now it's like okay they're a person you know what i mean like it just kind of like it also makes them lose not lose but it also makes me see them more as just a person and not necessarily like oh my god this is so and so <gasps> do you know who so and so is like it's just like okay they're people they act and they entertain and this is you know Blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. But it was really fun that I got to do this. And I did have another scene in here, but they ended up cutting it out. It's completely normal, guys. Again, it has nothing to do with me. And, like, here are some pictures that, you know, never got around to being seen. Because now we're going to get into Station 19. I remember this being completely, like, super dramatic, super slow, very emotional. Like... I remember just this being just like completely super dramatic, very emotional. Everyone wanted, like the director was like, you know, they don't know if you're alive. Those are posting our parents. Um, that's Dion, that's who plays my mother. Um, and this is Michaela Lysak. A lot of you guys know Michaela Lysak. She also has a YouTube channel um, that, and she does acting as well, so clearly. And so, oh, that's me. I was trying to like really make it seem like real. Like I was like making myself cough like, <laughs> Like, I was really trying to push it out. Like, I was really like, okay, like, I gotta make this believable. And action. Like, I was like, I was in my moments. Um, and then, so now we're gonna get into the scene where it's really emotional. Keep in mind, this is something like I'm picking on myself and I'm not. I just wish, like, it, first of all, the first couple of times, it was super, super hard for me to, and I'm, I like, it's not really hard for me to cry on cue, but this was my first time ever having to hysterically cry on camera. Now keep in mind, as you're doing this, there's a billion people with cameras from every angle and like so many people around just going like this. Just, w just watching you do your line. One, that's nerve wracking as hell. Two, it's uncomfortable. And three, it's like you have to literally just picture everybody out and then just do the scene. And it takes a very special skill to be able to do that because it's a lot. It's a lot as an actor. So, yeah. So, yeah. Let's watch the scene. No ventilation, but nothing seems broken. Oh, baby girl. I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry. We're, we're posting dumb pictures on Instagram and stuff when we started getting DMs from this girl. He said she was an influencer. She said that if we met her for pizza, she would teach us how to make a bunch of money from our post. And when we went to go meet her, she wasn't there. Dry tears! You see what I mean? We started the fire. We heard people yelling outside, and we, we, we thought maybe you find us, but then the yelling stopped it. And, and we didn't know who was looking for us. So so Jada had the idea to light the fire and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't have to tell us anymore right now. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so uh, there was that scene. Um, and it's just so crazy because if you look at that scene versus the like this is the audition. She just left us there. Like, you see how I'm, like, pulling out the tears, I'm crying, you see? But versus on set, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm really gonna have to do this. Like, and then, of course, the one scene where I really couldn't get, like, any tears out, they chose, so it's okay. Like, I mean, I could have, like, put some water in my eyes, but it's okay. That was my first time, like, legit having to, like, cry, cry on camera. So that was nerve wracking. But nonetheless, I am very grateful that I've gotten all these bookings. There's a lot that I didn't cover. So let me know if you guys want to see like more um, of these kind of videos where I'm just reacting to things that I've been in. So yeah, I think it's just a learning experience and I'm really grateful for everything that I've been a part of so far. 
there's gonna be weeks and months um, that you don't book anything and then there's gonna be that one year that just goes crazy you know it's just that's just a part of the journey and that's just how it works so you know at the end of the day to stay positive you guys can do that to all my aspiring actors out there who do want to act um just stay have a very positive mindset and just remember that every no is closer to a yes like i know it sounds really corny and all that but like completely i know y'all love like acting videos but what y'all really want to see like what do you guys want to know like i feel like i've given a lot of tips and acting and stuff like that but if you guys want something specific let me know if you guys aren't already following me on instagram you guys can follow me here and yeah thank y'all so much and y'all want to join the yin yang fam you know you can go ahead and subscribe or whatever you know if you want to no pressure no pressure um but yeah that's pretty much it and i hope you guys all have a great rest of the day and or night and good morning and good night wherever you are in the world just totally took that from deligracy if y'all don't know her she makes some videos but you know that's besides the point but anyway yes i played sims but um yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video bye